Hi and welcome back. So cold water immersion therapy or cold water shock therapy, extremely popular at the moment, uh, comes with lots of benefits, but there are some risks and there are some quite serious risks that you need to be made aware of if you're thinking about taking the plunge, no pun intended. Now, the proponents of this kind of therapy will often talk to you about the benefits, but very seldom do they cover the actual risks. So it's important you know what they are, as I said, if you are thinking about taking on this kind of therapy. This is by no means a hit piece on Wim Hof or anyone else who talks about the benefits of cold water shock therapy. Indeed, I follow Wim Hof on YouTube and I think all of his content is absolutely fantastic. Although I don't like cold water immersion, I do regularly do his deep breathing exercises to calm and relax myself. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what the risks of this cold water immersion therapy actually are. This is the review of a piece I read that was penned by Laura Williamson and published in the American Heart Association News, where she highlights the all too often ignored risks of cold water immersion or cold water shock therapy. And there are links in the description below to the articles and the studies I use to put this presentation together. Jumping into icy cold water in the dead of winter might seem like a crazy idea, but the so-called polar bear plunge has become a popular activity, often paired with raising money for charity. Arguably, the most well-known proponent of this is Wim Hof. Indeed, he is known as the Iceman. But the benefits of cold water immersion have been widely proclaimed by trusted figures in the health and wellness space for many years now. Personalities such as Rhonda Patrick and Andrew Huberman. But the risks, and there are real risks, are very rarely touched upon by these people. The practice of cold water therapy is based on the belief that exposing your body to cold water and air may strengthen the immune system and improve cardiovascular health. Hollywood actor Chris Hemsworth of Thor fame helped promote the idea when he took an Arctic swim without a wetsuit as part of National Geographic's Limitless television series. Now, although a very popular activity, the actual scientific evidence supporting the health benefits of cold water therapy or cold water immersion remains scant. Experts caution that for some people, shocking the body with cold water could do more harm than good, even at less than frigid temperatures. The National Centre for Cold Water Safety warns that sudden immersion in water under 60 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 15 degrees centigrade, can kill a person in less than a minute. And that's quite a sobering fact. Kill a person in less than one minute. Dr. George Plutsky, Director of Preventative Cardiology at Bingham and Women's Hospital in Boston said, cold shock can be dangerous. Whether there are health benefits or not is not clear and has not been established. Plunging your body into cold water triggers a sudden rapid increase in breathing, heart rate and blood pressure known as the cold shock response. This can cause a person to drown within seconds if they involuntarily gasp while their head is submerged underwater. The shock also places stress on the heart and makes it work harder. Within minutes, the sudden loss of body heat begins to cause other problems also. Dr. Plutsky stated that blood rushes away from the extremities to the body's core to protect vital organs. This leaves the arms and legs without good circulation, which can lead to a loss of strength and coordination. The rapid loss of heat can also lead to hypothermia, making it harder to think clearly or move well. Being immersed in cold water triggers hypothermia faster than just being out in the cold. This is because water takes heat away from the body 25 times faster than air. Some studies have suggested that people who adapt to cold water immersion through routine ice bathing or winter swimming may reduce inflammation and other cardiovascular risks. But... Other studies have found evidence of higher levels of troponin in people who compete in winter swims, suggesting that prolonged cold water immersion could lead to heart muscle damage. 
Dr. Plutsky said, I would caution against it for anyone with a cardiac history and noted that little research on the health effects of cold water immersion has included people with heart conditions. They're normally sifted out during the initial stages. People with heart conditions may also take medications such as beta blockers that lower blood pressure and reduce the heart rate, which could make it harder for the body to adapt to the shock of sudden temperature drop. Lee Hill, PhD, an exercise scientist and postdoctoral fellow at the Research Institute of the McGill University Health Centre in Quebec, Canada, said, the shock response can be lessened by acclimating the body to increasingly colder water over time. Hill was a cold water swim coach in South Africa before moving to Canada, where he continues to practice winter swimming. He also said that people who routinely swim in cold water should follow a series of safety measures to get their bodies prepared for cold water immersion. Lee Hill recommends spending time in lakes or other outdoor water sources before the temperatures drop too low and then continue to do so as the weather gets colder. If there's no place to swim outdoors, then he recommends taking increasingly cooler showers or baths at home. He said, I would suggest starting slowly. Get your lungs exposed to the cold air. Put cold water on your back and on your neck. Prime your neurological system that a cold shock is coming. The most dangerous time is the first 10 seconds to a minute when people try to get their breath under control. You can survive for up to an hour moving around. But for those who are not accustomed to that cold water shock, it can be incredibly risky. Lee Hill goes on to say that the risk for hypothermia continues even when you get out of the water. You should immediately get out of cold, wet clothes and into warm ones. Get near a space heater and drink a warm beverage. He cautioned against doing a cold water swim without medical personnel on hand and access to supplies that allow immediate rewarming. He said never ever do a cold water swim on your own. This is a recipe for disaster. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. As I said, not a hit piece on Wim Hof or any other proponent of immersion or cold water therapy. Um, just a video highlighting some of the risks you need to be made aware of. If you are thinking of taking the plunge, again, no pun intended, it's important that you contact someone that knows what they're talking about. Ideally, you speak to your health professional, your medical advisor, before you um, partake in any kind of this therapy. And if you are going to do it, please do not do it alone. Uh, I don't like the cold. I That's why I like living here in the Middle East and also why I'm going to retire in the Philippines. For my cellular stress, I like to use heat. So at any chance I get, I will climb into a sauna or climb into a steam room. Uh, let me know in the comments below, do you do immersion therapy and have you seen any tangible benefits? I would really be interested to see your comments on that.